Renewable Eco Cooperatives. One Community Weekly Progress Update number 296. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do it yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. My name is Jay Sable, and I'm the Executive Director of the One Community 501c3 Nonprofit Organization. This is our weekly progress update number 296, November 25th, 2018 edition. One Community's mission is to bring together people with the consciousness for the highest good of all life on our planet and to build sustainable and self-replicating teacher demonstration hubs as a pathway to global sustainability. And with that said, I'd like to talk about those self-replicating teacher demonstration hubs because really they're renewable eco-cooperatives, and that's the topic of today, renewable eco-cooperatives. What is a renewable eco-cooperative? What is a teacher demonstration hub? What's a sustainable self-replicating teacher demonstration hub? Well, everything you see happening in the background of this video is a self-replicating teacher demonstration hub. These are the components that we have designed to create not only a self-replicating teacher demonstration hub, but also a self-replicating model where all of the components are replicable as either individual components or as the complete renewable eco-cooperative. And to build a global collaborative and cooperative of eco-sustainable communities working together for the highest good of all life on this planet. And so renewable eco-cooperatives take the physical foundations of sustainability from our perspective, the way that we're designing them, and everything that you see in the background is in support of this. We take the physical foundations of sustainability, which are showing right now, food, energy, and housing, and we're combining those with the emotional foundations of sustainability, which we've identified as highest good education models, highest good economic models, fulfilled living models, and true earth stewardship and putting these things together and building all of the infrastructure that we're designing to support this idea of a fully immersive, completely self-sustaining environment designed to meet the needs and exceed the needs of everybody that's living there, providing everything that people need to live happy, fulfilled, enriched lives, abundant lives, all within walking distance. And so our renewable eco-cooperatives are designed to surpass the way that most people are living right now, to provide a living environment that we think most people will consider to be better than the way they're living right now. And in so doing, and in the way that we're doing it, by open sourcing and free sharing everything that we're creating, the tools, the tutorials, the resources, and the do-it-yourself instructions to be able to replicate this on your own so that we can make it easy enough, affordable enough, and then demonstrate it as attractive enough so the idea will spread on its own. So we can create renew renewable eco-cooperatives working in cooperation and collaboration. It's a global cooperative of sustainable villages, towns, hubs, and eventually cities working together, built from the ground up with this idea of radical sustainability for those that are interested in that, so that we can create a sustainable planet that will benefit everyone and everything here. Renewable eco-cooperatives designed to regenerate our planet, designed to regenerate people, designed to create an environment where people can live in community and cooperation and collaboration and provide something of value not only for themselves, not only for their friends and family, but also for the rest of the world. Living in integrity and demonstrating that and sharing that. And the whole model is designed so that the more we share it, the more we live in integrity, the more we demonstrate that we're doing the right thing, the more, the harder we work to live and demonstrate living with the consciousness for the highest good of all life and sharing that as a big foundation of that. The consciousness for the highest good of all from our perspective is non-ideological and it's about sharing and cooperation, collaboration. And so 30% of everything that we're creating is designed for people to come and visit, experience one community, and to be able to take the parts that they like the most and implement them in their own life, which could just be planting a garden or starting a food forest or maybe running, running a home education program using our open source education model or maybe other uh, cons conservation methods or recycling methods, things of that nature, or the complete teacher, teacher demonstration hub designed so that people can bring together their friends, their family, or people that they may not even know but share common values and to know exactly how much time it's going to take, how much money it's going to take, what the effort's going to look like, and the entire process for replication so people can create a way of living that is, we think most people consider to be far superior to the way that they're living right now. And this 
is the heart and soul of a renewable eco-cooperative. It's not just about renewable energy. It's not just about sustainable housing. It's not just about food that's been grown without poison sprayed on it and that is more nutritious and locally sourced and fresher, better. It's not just about those things. It's not just about an open source education program that is tailored to the individual. It's not just about fulfilled living practices so that people can live a more enriched and fulfilling life and have more access to the things that they want to do and more time to do those things all within walking distance. It's not just about those things. It's not just about a resource-based economy and being able to live a life where you never have to worry about money, where those things are coordinated uh, cooperatively and collaboratively so that people can get out of debt, free themselves from debt, and never ever return to that. It's not just about those things. It's about so much more than that. And it's not just about world change. It's not just about creating a sustainable planet. It's about, it's about meeting the needs of people at the deepest, most important level and connecting them with other people, connecting us with other people who want to meet those needs in the same way, and then sharing that, sharing that with everybody and making a real difference in our own lives in the lives of others around the world, and ultimately achieving that tipping point of global participation through a self-replicating model, because we've made it easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrated attractive enough, to reach that tipping point where enough people are participating that we can positively and permanently impact the lives of every single person on this planet. And it's possible within our lifetime. Read our overview page to understand how. Check it out. So with that said, we're all volunteer, 100% unpaid staff. I'm not paid for anything I'm doing here. Neither is anybody else on our team. Nonprofit organization creating this because we want to live this way and because we know it's possible and we want to see other people be able to live this way as well. And so with that said, here's one week of our team's progress and accomplishments working towards this goal of renewable eco-cooperatives, working in cooperation, collaboration globally to create a world that works for everybody. Check it out. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This week, the core team continued design updates to the open source Murphy Bed Furniture Assembly Instructions. The focus this week was creating detailed SketchUp measurement graphics showing the Murphy bed from all sides so we can recreate it in AutoCAD. You can see some of this work in progress here. And Anvita Kumari Pandey, civil engineer, completed her 25th week volunteering and now helping with the Earth Bay Village materials and costs. This week, she continued working on the cost analysis of the tropical atrium, vermiculture toilet, net zero bathroom, and communal showers. She prepared the initial material list, made more AutoCAD updates, and added materials quantities. You can see some of this work here. Guy Grossfeld, graphic designer, also continued his work helping with render corrections and Photoshop additions for the Earth Bay Village. This week, Guy completed these two second-generation views from the Tropical Atrium entryway and the top of the Tropical Atrium and Looking South. He also completed this updated perspective of the Tropical Atrium and Village Looking Southeast and this view of the tropical atrium and village looking northwest. Shadi Kennedy, artist and graphic designer, also completed his 31st week leading the development of the Murphy Bed Instructions. This week, he removed unnecessary labels throughout, created and laid out a new parts page and separated out components parts into distinct groups, and started creating the first sets of diagrams for the wall section. You can see some of this work here. And Dean Schulz, architectural designer, continued working on the Earth Bay Village. Here's weekly update 139 from Dean. His focus this week was updating the designs to eliminate as many fractions and non-whole numbers as possible and additional labeling of components. You can see some of this work here. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. This week, the core team continued working on the SketchUp Duplical City Center updates for the Dining Dome. We created openings for additional windows, placed all 4x4 windows on the first floor, updated the glass texture in the 4x4 windows, and designed the frame for the hexagonal windows, as shown here. 
Deputy Don Ducker, electrical engineer, also continued developing the lighting specifics for the city center. This is Dipti's 104th week volunteering on this task, and the focus this week was beginning the process of light placement. This week, Dipti finished version one of the Living Dome light placement, which you can see here. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week, the core team continued writing the behind the scenes narrative and the detailed food rollout plan for the various stages of development. This week, we continued researching information on goats and finished reviewing and editing our current goat page. You can see some of this behind the scenes work here. One community's approach to highest good education is designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, includes national standards, all subjects, lesson plans, teaching strategies, learning strategies and tools, classroom design, and more. With eight years invested in designing it, this component of one community is pretty much complete until we move on to the property and continue to develop it with teachers and students. Completed sections include comprehensive subject outlines covering arts and trades, English, health, math, science, social sciences, technology and innovation, and values. Also, 52 weekly themed lesson plans covering all the subjects we just mentioned, all learning levels and ages, and usable in any learning environment. 12 detailed and progressive curriculum outlines are also complete, summaries and integration of all the best-known alternative education programs, including Montessori, Waldorf, ORF, Regio, and more, and leadership skills, collaborative assessment formats and forums, a global online free education resource hub, classroom design, and more. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. This week, Jin Hua, web and graphic designer, continued development of our AdWords campaign and created and launched eight new ad groups, including 12,000 research keywords. You can see some of this work here. This week, Amelia Nahara, digital marketer, continued with his seventh week as part of the marketing team. This week, he researched keywords for several more of our top-level branding pages, including community, resource-based economy, and transition kitchen. You can see some of this work here. In addition to this, the Highest Good Network software team consisting of Shubra Mittal, Ashwarya Singh, Farhan Zaki, Jordan Miller, and Tyler Calvert continued developing the software. This week, the team updated the wording on the time log page, added Sentry to the documentation, updated the README tutorial, implemented ES6 support and linting in REST services and the Selenium project, completed the code for the forgot password functionality, debugged a header issue, and worked on the time entry modal. You can see some of this work here. There you have it. There is one week of our team's progress and accomplishments working towards this goal of renewable eco-cooperatives, working in cooperation and collaborations as a global cooperative for world change. If you'd like to see more details, more specifics, links to all the open source content, everything that we're creating, visit our written blog, visit our website. There's so much information on there. It's Check it out. you got to see it to believe it. And uh, we are working tirelessly to continue to expand those models and everything that we're creating. Uh, if you'd like to see an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com, and we will add you to our newsletter list. You'll receive one email a week from us with these updates. Uh, or you can subscribe to our YouTube channel or any of our social media networks. Uh, also, if you'd like to help out, this is our helping page. And uh, if you'd like access to all our social media networks, you can see that on our helping page. Uh, most of them, the big ones are there. We're on Facebook, Tumblr, Twitter, Reddit, Pinterest, Instagram, uh, LinkedIn, and about 15 other social media networks to make it as easy as possible. And uh, thank you. Thanks for watching to the end. Thanks if you're somebody who's donated to our project. Like I said, we're all unpaid volunteers, so 100% of donations go to forwarding our mission. Um, thanks for watching the end, as I already said. Thank you if you've sent us emails or just for liking our YouTube video or sharing our information on social media. Every little bit makes a difference, and we are grateful for your support in whatever way works best for you, including if it's just paying attention and being glad that we exist. All of it makes a difference. We are grateful. Thank you, and until next week, we will, of course. Keep on keeping on. Thanks.